guys, so as you can probably tell from today's title of the video, I am going to be sharing my nursery tour with you. I am currently 38 weeks and two days, I believe, so I feel like he could come literally any moment now. And as you can see from behind me, we've kept the nursery pretty gender neutral, even though we do know that he is a boy. I feel like our whole house is quite like a neutral coastal kind of vibe, so I wanted to keep the same for the nursery. Yeah, we kept it pretty budget friendly and a couple of you guys wanted to see this on Instagram so I thought I would film a room tour. Also, just a quick side note, my camera is already flashing that it's going to die so I might move to my vlogging camera if the quality changes, that is why. But if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe down below, give the video a thumbs up and let's get on to the tour. I definitely feel like I need a wide angle lens for these type of videos because I was thinking I would show you what's in the drawers but I can barely fit in the frame. <laughs> um, but this drawer set is from Ikea, I believe. I'm gonna link it down below, but hack for you guys. Look on Facebook Marketplace in your local area for anything that you can find in store because most of the time there is going to be something online. This was $350 in store, I believe, and we got it for $150. So, Saved ourselves almost $200 and then I just changed out the handles. They were like a black, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I just bought these off Amazon so that it would fit the coastal vibe and match the mirror and all that kind of fun stuff. So while I'm standing here, I thought I'd show you guys where I got all of this stuff from. So firstly, my mum made this and it's the cutest little thing ever. A little line, and this was before she even knew the theme of our nursery. Not that there's like a huge theme, but it is kind of like safari animal sort of thing. And she handmade this, so I think it's adorable. We got this massive mirror from Kmart. I think it was like $45, so super affordable. Um, we don't have enough room for an actual changing station in this room. It's actually a really small room. Um, so we decided to get a drawer set that was high enough that we could change him and just put a changing pad on top of it. I do need to secure this though because obviously it does move a little bit so I need to figure out how to tightly secure it. Um, again we just got a colour that sort of matched the rest of it and this is from the company Babyhood. I think it was like 100 or 150 dollars so kind of expensive compared to some other changing pads but you can just wipe this down because it is like a silicon material as opposed to having to like constantly wash your changing mat covers and just to the right of that we have a little nappy bin this one is just from Kmart I think it was around 50 dollars and it came with another mini bin which we've got in the bedroom again as the nappy bin um, everyone on Instagram was basically telling me not to bother buying an actual proper one if that makes sense because the refills cost so much money and you end up just like changing the bins every day anyway. So we just bought a basic bin and we plan to change it as regularly as possible. <laughs> so next up we've got the inside of the drawers. I just got these inserts from Ikea. There's some small square ones, big square ones and rectangles. And I just thought this was a good way to like have everything in one place. So over on this side we have all of the nappies. We've got some swaddles here. In this one is just like some creams, some reusable breast pads. Um, what's this? Soothing cream. There's like some bum cream. I honestly don't know what any of this is for yet. <laughs> just like new mum things. But it's just things that people gave us at our baby shower. So I'm assuming we're going to get a lot of use out of them. He's got all of his newborn onesies in here. And I'm going to keep a couple of them in our bedroom as well. Because overnight that's where we'll change him. So I think we have about 15 to 20 zip up onesies. Because everyone said that babies just live in these the first couple of weeks and then over in this side is random <laughs> um, I've got this stuff for collecting colostrum so I've just got my syringes and breast um, pads what are these called like the heat and cooling pads um, but underneath I've got some dummies baby wipes and scented nappy bags so perfect for this hey peanut um, but I do need to clear this out when I stop expressing colostrum and then I've just got some spare stuff behind here. Also side note, be careful if you've got animals because our animals absolutely love the nursery <laughs> and obviously it's not very safe for them to be jumping up on here so 
we're trying to keep them out as much as possible. So in the next drawer, we've just got a thing of little sockies. Um, these are tiny baby onesies. We have been told he could be quite small. So we've bought a couple of five zero um, outfits. He's got his little beanies in here, which are so cute. Um, a couple of little mittens and singlets. So these are all for newborn. And then these are his little pants. He has so many pants, <laughs> which is quite good because we're coming up to summer. So I'm sure he'll be able to just like wear singlets and shorts a lot. Um, but we've got a whole different range of sizes in here. They're just all rolled up. Then we've got his zero to three month onesies and his zero to three month um, singlets and t-shirts. These are just like the plain baby ones. And then onto the last drawer, this one is a bit of a mess. Um, and it's also thicker than the other two, if you can tell the difference. So this has just got a random array of things in it at the moment. There's a, what is this called? Like a play mat that we're gonna put on the ground for tummy time. We've got a couple of bottles, but I didn't buy too many because I'm just not sure um, what we're going to need, I guess. So these were just the ones that I picked up at the moment. This is a little waterproof um, bag that you put in your nappy bag, I believe. A client gave this to me as well, which is so lovely. And then I've just got some things to help with breastfeeding. So I've got a tea, an infuser, we've got a baby thermometer, and this is the white noise machine that we're going to use. It's currently in our bedroom because we listen to it every night, <laughs> um, but it's got different colors. So it's got pink, red, blue, green, etc., and it just plays white noise. And it also has a nightlight. So I'll show you guys that as well. And then over to this side, we've just got a cot and the baby monitor. Again, this one is going to be moved to the bedroom to sit over the bassinet but I'll show you guys at the end of this video how we've set up the bedroom for baby. Um, this cot again we got off Facebook marketplace I think it was $500 down to $100 so bargain. To be honest before I got pregnant I kept telling myself I wouldn't buy anything second hand like I just didn't think it was safe but the more that I did my research and just like the cost of baby items is mind-blowing. <laughs> Um, so there were certain things that I was willing to, you know, buy secondhand. The main tip I had for you is to find the actual product you want and then search that. So I knew I wanted this specific cot, I knew I wanted that specific pram, the specific bassinet and things like that. And then I just searched for that secondhand. So that way I basically still got the things that I wanted just at a more affordable price point. Okay, so my camera battery just died, so now I'm using my vlogging camera. <laughs> Um, but the baby monitor is from the brand, I think it's called QBO. I saw a lot of influencers talk about this and it is kind of pricey, but the amount of features it has is just incredible. Obviously, we haven't fully tested it yet without baby being here, but I just thought it was worth the price point just for the safety and awareness that it has. It also connects to your phone instead of like carrying around a monitor, which I thought was super helpful. We got these frames from Kmart, I believe. I think it was like $15 for the set of three, which is amazing. I was looking at doing like a DIY myself and printing them and framing them, but it was going to cost like $100 to $200. So I'm really glad Kmart came out with these at the literal perfect timing. Um, and we were going to put some decals on the wall, like some greenery, but we just couldn't find ones that we liked on Etsy. So we didn't end up doing it. And to be honest, I kind of prefer it just plain at the moment because I'm sure we'll probably change his room up as he gets older as well. So yeah. Next, we have this cute little corner with our sleepy puppy. <laughs> Um, so this side table is from Kmart as well. It's just like the rattan side table and it's the perfect height. As you can probably tell, we don't have like a lamp or anything in this room. So instead we've got this little diffuser slash white night light. So it changes colors and it also fuses, which I thought was perfect in a baby's room because it's probably going to get quite stinky in here. So I felt like that was perfect. Um, this little plant I think is from Ikea. And I think our friends got this for us. It just plays music and the radio. So we've just got that there. Daisy, you just got so much cuter. Hello, little bubba. <laughs> she got a fresh groom the other day. So she's looking like a little baby lamb right now. This is a better angle of the chair. So you can see like the proper color and everything. But this nursing chair is from the brand Il Tito, I believe. You can also get it from Baby Bunting. But it is the perfect height for back and neck support. It also 
swivels, it rocks, and it reclines. So that was like an absolute must for me. I wanted all of the things. It was on the more expensive side, but I just think considering how many hours you're going to spend nursing in this chair, whether you breastfeed or formula feed, I just think it's worth investing in, especially just for like the support. Um, so highly recommend this chair. I love it and it just matches everything perfectly. Oh, I forgot to mention Benji. This obviously won't be in his cot when he actually sleeps in it. But this was one of, I think Andy bought this for me for Christmas maybe like eight years ago. Because I love elephants and we named him Benji. So he's getting passed down to baby boy, which I think is very cute. Maybe a little bit lame, but we love that. Probably a very boring detail, but we also changed the curtains in this room to match the theme a little bit. So these grey curtains, again, are from Kmart. Um, and they say blockout blinds. I'm not quite sure if they're actually going to be blackout, but... It just sort of matched the grey theme a little bit more than the curtains we had previously. Over to the left of the room, we just have a fake bamboo plant. So the plant is from Adairs, I believe. And then he's got his cupboards. This side of the cupboard is actually wild, so I'm not going to show you too much. But this is all his, um, I think these are three to six month clothes. And then he's got six month and more. The only reason why we have so many clothes already that are like already six months to 12 months is because my cousin has a baby and she's given us all her baby's hand-me-downs because they're adorable like look at this how's this not the cutest little thing ever so yes we do have quite a lot of clothes that are obviously way too big for him at the moment but i've just hung up a few of them up here we've got some extra nappies that just aren't quite the right size just yet We've got a vaporizer because my mum said that this is amazing for newborns. So she bought us that um, for when he's sick and stuff. We've got a little play mat, nappy bag, spare nappies, that sort of thing. And then in the other side is his actual newborn clothes. So we've got this carrier here from the brand Ergo Baby. We heard really good reviews about this one. So again, Facebook Marketplace, so much cheaper. <laughs> um, he's got all of his newborn clothes these are the cutest things ever like i am so excited to dress him in these when he fits but oh how cute are baby clothes like it's just i cannot believe that he's going to be in our arms in like a week or two wild but so many cute things here so they're mostly newborn or zero to three months here and then when you come down again, excuse the mess, I've got a nappy bag here. We've got some more terry towels, some face washers, which I probably should put in the bathroom. In here is just a few breastfeeding supplies like the hucker, the ladybugs, that sort of thing. And then we've just got more inserts here, which have different things like muslin wraps, more terry towels some what are these called just like cotton sort of blankets and these ones are the bassinet sheets to the left of the cupboard we've just hung up some spice racks from ikea so he's got these little books i believe these books were written by a footy player my husband is obsessed with richmond so i'm pretty sure that's who wrote these books hence why they're there and the little monkey teddy was was my husband's when he was a baby. And then down here we've got a little Kiwi book. Again, we just bought this in New Zealand as a little souvenir for him. And then the little Kiwi teddy, so cute. And last but not least, we have this little, what do you call these? I don't even know, like jungle gym. I literally don't know what to call this. My baby brain is wild. Um, but this is from Kmart. And then we just got the little toys from Kmart as well. I think you can get a couple of different ones. The dog loves them, so it's not going well. <laughs> she tries to chew them and pull them off, but anyway. And then the rug is from Ikea, and it fits pretty perfectly in this spare space as well. And last but not least, this is the little bedroom setup that we've got going on at the moment. So this is the bassinet that we found secondhand. I really wanted this one in particular just because of the mesh sides. So the fact that I can see baby overnight is really important to me. And and it also zips down into a co-sleeper if I was to attach it to the bed. And we've got the little white noise machine that I showed you guys before in the drawer. And then the little nappy bin is just going to be down there as well. Um, and I'm probably going to fill these drawers with just like spare nappies, 
onesies and all that sort of stuff just so I can sort of change him in this vicinity and I don't have to get out of bed. <laughs> that would be ideal. <laughs> So that is the end of the nursery tour. I feel like I did so much talking, I'm literally out of breath. <laughs> um, but hopefully I managed to show you guys everything. And as I said, pretty much everything was either from Ikea, Kmart or Facebook Marketplace. So everything was super affordable and just budget friendly. And again, Facebook Marketplace is going to be your best friend if you're willing to buy things secondhand because it just saves so much money but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up for me hopefully the next video you'll see is packing my hospital bag because i'm going to film that after this and the video after that might be a birth and delivery like how wild is that i cannot i cannot believe it it literally feels like yesterday that i was sitting here filming my first trimester vlog and now i'm literally about to give birth i just Wild times, wild times, but please don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new to my channel so that you can see all future content and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye!